Okay, now we're going to look at our blue scale, uh, which is also called uh, a minor pentatonic, uh, minor run, uh, lots of catchphrases that people use, but its official name is a minor pentatonic. Minor meaning it has a flat third. Penta, five note, scale, starting on the tonic, on the root, minor pentatonic. Um, I've drawn one out that starts with a root six, and I've drawn a, one out that starts with a root five. If you use the chart that goes with your bar chords to learn all of the names of your strings up and down your E and A string, you can also apply that here to where you have a root six and a root five pentatonic scale that you can play. So if you're in the key of A and you want to play an A minor pentatonic, that's an A. And this diagram here shows you what that scale looks like. So you want to play a G minor pentatonic. Well, this is a G note. Say you want to play a G somewhere else on the neck. Well, I have a G up here on my fifth string, tenth fret. So I can play a root five. Okay? Uh, with my A, I have an A up here. I could have played a root five minor pentatonic. Root six, A minor pentatonic. Uh, I'll throw a couple of the keys out just uh, so you can really think this through. A key of E. I've got an E down here. Here I'm using the open strings. I like using my first and second fingers. Six. The next E I have is up here on the seventh fret, so I can play a root five minor pentatonic. And be in the key of E. Then I have an E up here on the twelfth fret. I can play it again an octave higher. Root six, E minor pentatonic. Okay? Now, you can start and stop on any note to start playing a lead. In the key of E, so you have to breathe life into it. You have to give it some rhythm, some texture, um, and we'll start getting into that. But I just want you to realize that just because this is the root, one, you do not have to start on the root any more than if you're going to write a novel, you have to start with an A because that's the first letter of the alphabet. It has nothing to do with it. Okay? So get these in their basic form. Major, pentatonics will follow. There is a major and a minor pentatonic. But right now, we're looking at our minor pentatonics. Uh, if you're playing blues, rock, you're going to tend to play a little bit more from the minor pentatonic side. If you're playing country, uh, southern rock, you're going to be playing a lot more uh, from the major pentatonic. So we'll get into that. But right now, learn these basic blues scale, minor pentatonic, uh, play it back and forth. Make sure that you are really gaining a great understanding of the names of the notes on your fifth and sixth strings. Okay? And then next, we're going to move into expanding these so you have a bigger picture, something a little bit more um, uh, palatable to play with. You've got uh, more territory that you're covering, but you've also going to have, you're also going to have a better fingering to use that I'm going to show you. So this becomes more usable. Okay, so get this down first, though, understanding-wise, and then move on to the next section.